Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Wybot. Welcome back to the LFR. Yeah, welcome back to the LFR. Tanking in the LFR. It's been a while. So this is the Nightmare. This is the Emerald Nightmare. This is the first boss. Her name is Nithendra. Yeah, Nithendra. She has some fairly simple mechanics. We'll touch on those in a sec here. However, first I want to explain why I'm uh, making these videos here for people who are new to the channel. Uh, I started making some videos back in Warlords of Draenor, and they are just basic, simple uh, tanking guides, just stuff you need to watch out for. A little bit that you can do uh, your research uh, just in one easy video while you're uh, getting ready for a raid or something, or if you want to prepare yourself and be knowledgeable for the raid. I'm doing uh, some research for you guys on Icy Veins for you. I'm showing you how it's done so you don't have to worry because I've been there. I know that there's some anxiety sometimes with uh, tanking in the LFR. Maybe not so much anymore because you can really overgear this thing like crazy in Legion, but definitely there was back, at least for me, back in Warlords of Draenor and uh, some of my viewers have shared with me that they did find them helpful and it did kind of uh, bring their in tanking anxiety levels down a little bit because if you screw up as the tank then all the DPS whose job is to just hit the boss and have very little responsibility they get a little salty they get a little grumpy at you so anyway I hope these videos are going to be useful for you guys hope you find them informative entertaining and useful and let's dive into it and well Let's start in phase two, where you actually behave just like a DPS. <laughs> awesome. So phase two, best I can tell, you need to avoid the moving green piles of crap here. So uh, it's called Heart of the Swarms. There's insects that roam around. You can see them on the floor. You can't target them. You can't really DPS them. Uh, you mostly just focus on the boss from what I can tell there. And uh, yeah, now back into phase one here where we're tanking the undead dragon. The main thing you need to watch out for in this one is Violent Rot. That is the tank switching mechanic for this. Also, for every single fight, I don't care what fight it is, please make sure that the other tank is set to focus so that you can pick up on debuffs that they have. In this case, it's a fairly obvious trigger. The tank who's affected by Violent Rot grows to be about four times their size and uh, has a ticking debuff on them that once it goes off they do AoE damage, they do some damage to themselves and they leave a green pile of crap zone and I believe if you are in the middle of your raid it's going to do significant damage to the raid. So what I would suggest as a tank, use whatever escape abilities you've got. In this case I'm the demon hunter so I used infernal strike a couple of times to get away and yeah just get far away Put the uh, Violent Rot puddle in the corner where it won't hurt anybody and everything will be good. The room won't be covered in green crap zones. So here we're doing it again. The other thing you need to watch out for is Infested Breath, which we're going to get to experience firsthand in a second because I fail. Actually, I think that was kind of bad luck, actually. I think she just kind of ended up shooting it in the general direction. But yeah, that takes a crap ton of damage if you can avoid it. Please do. The boss is nearly dead here. This is pretty much the end of the first fight. We'll be looking at the second fight in a sec. So yeah, in this phase, once again, just your DPS. Hit the boss as hard as you can. And down goes Nithendra. And now we get loots. And let's move on to the next boss. Also something I should note quickly here. Uh, this instance is kind of a little funny. It's a winged instance. So you can mount up here. There is a, there's a kind of a crossroads here, I guess you could say. There's basically a hallway where you get to choose a bunch of things. So your next step is to go into Ungoro Crater. And after that, you go into Mulgore. So we need to go into Ungoro Crater. Malfurion says we can do whatever we want, but we're in the LFR. We can't. So you need to run to the portal and you need to just stay there. You'll be transported automatically. You don't need to click on anything and uh, yeah, just follow the raid. A lot of the time the raid is uh, doing this little path to the right to avoid a lot of the trash, which is completely fine. We're here to kill bosses, not to kill trash. And 
All right, and I've just thrown a cut ahead here, and uh, let's take a look at the next boss. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Ilganoth, the so-called heart of the nightmare here. So there are two things the tanks need to do here. This is kind of an interesting one. Once again, we mostly behave as DPS. What you need to do is twofold. First off, you need to uh, tank the Dominator tentacles here. So one tank per tentacle. And once they are dead, there's another thing you need to tank, which is called the Nightmare Horror. And the tanks will need to take turns tanking that, according to Icy Veins. So anyway, the Dominator tentacles, not much of a big deal. And in between having those up and having Nightmare Horrors up, you are free to behave as a DPS, so just uh, pick something that uh, you're looking to hit and uh, hit it, quite frankly. <laughs> hit it as hard as you can. Now, uh, once Nightmare Horrors come up there, there's uh, a stacking mechanic we need to look at. Let's take a look at it here. The Eye of Fate. Swap that at two stacks. So here's a Nightmare Horror right here. The Let's see, is that the other boss or the other tank? Yeah, now it's the other tank dealing with it. And now it's me. You need to move this guy on a regular basis, uh, according to Icy Veins, to make sure that there aren't too many piles of uh, poop on the floor. Once again, the other guy seems to uh, be doing things just fine. He's got one stack of the uh, Eye Beam, is it? Eye of Fate, rather. And all right. And what the heck? Okay, those are not Dominator tentacles. Good, good. Yeah, so I'm not doing things perfectly right here for that, quite frankly, and I do apologize for that. But the Nightmare Horror should be dead fairly quickly. And, uh, yeah, this is LFR, folks, after all. This is one of my earlier attempts as well, so, yeah, my apologies if I do screw things up. These will not be perfect. So, once again, we can go back to targeting things. Let's just hit the eye as hard as we can. You need to kill the eye in order to get to his heart. And the heart is actually where you kill the boss. So we will not kill him this time. You, uh, you've got two shots at this and you will need the two shots at this. At, at this point is when you just hit it with all you've got. But this thing is set on a timer here. There is a uh, ability that is there, uh, regeneration, whatever it's called there, dark mending, regeneration, I'm not sure, but you do need to get out before that is done while doing as much damage to Ilgoth's heart as possible. So we're just gonna keep on doing that and uh, it looks like he's almost done, so I think it's just about time to head out. He's almost completed. We did get a uh, an audible, audible or visual warning here. And uh, now things will reset back to phase one, and the Dominator tentacles should pop up, I would imagine. Look, there they are. Excellent. So you want to pick one, tank it, make sure the other guy is doing the other one, and we just go through the same thing over again. Let's see, is there anything else? If you get knocked back by Grand Slam, make sure you get back to the Dominator Tentacle quickly. So basically you need to tank these things the whole time. And once they die, you can behave as DPS until the Nightmare Horror pops up once again. All right, so this thing's about to die. And uh, then after that, I guess we can uh, DPS some of these oozes, I suppose. Really, we should probably be uh, focusing on the stupid eye here. Or the eye beam tentacles. Let's actually take a look at the DPS priorities, because when you are not healing, or when you're not DPSing... When you're not tanking! How about that? Let's try that, huh? When you're not tanking, the uh, you are DPS, and the DPS priorities on this fight are Death Glare tentacles, which we just saw, the ones with the eyes, Corruptor tentacles, Nightmare Ickers, which are those slimes on the ground, Dominator Tentacles, 
And then finally the Nightmare Horrors, which we should be tanking anyway. And uh, yeah, I'm assuming the rest of the time we deal with the um, eye itself there. So we've got a Nightmare Horror here. And let's see, we have no stacks so far. I'm just kind of tanking him in place. I didn't really uh, read into this soon enough here. And as you can see, I do believe there's some more crap dropping all over the place. I should be moving him every so often. So we've got two stacks. That's when Icy Vein says that we should tank swap, but really I'm not taking too much damage yet, actually. So yeah, this is not a perfect attempt by any means. So yeah. this guy, yeah, at this point I'm starting to take serious damage from those uh, I-beam blasts. So at this point you do want to make sure that the uh, you do a tank swap. But on LFR, it looks like uh, this guy may just die before he actually kills me with that. So not a perfect execution by any means. That guy's finally, uh, the other tank has taken over there. And I'm not going to be begrudge him whatsoever or uh, not tank switching. I mean, I didn't tank switch on the first one there. This is a, this is one of my uh, first or second uh, attempts at uh, doing this particular fight. And at this point, I was just looking at the dungeon journal the same way I did in Warlords. So mistakes will happen, and in the LFR, things are very forgiving. Sometimes too forgiving. And yeah, like uh, some kind of moron, I decided to tank him back again. Oh well. Anyway, the eye is almost dead. We're uh, going to go ahead and take the eye down, and then we can go off and finish his heart. Down goes the eye. And now we need to make sure that we take out the heart before the final regeneration, because I'm assuming something bad happens after that. I haven't actually uh, gotten an opportunity to find out. Hopefully I never will. Hopefully we'll, uh, we'll be successful every single time. But uh, this part is a pure DPS race. You are pure DPS once again, so just DPS the heart right down, and there is not much to it. So, in review, this fight is Dominator Tentacles first, then the Nightmare Horrors. You want to uh, swap those guys out after two blasts of the uh, Eye Beam there. My goodness, what is the name for that ability? The Eye of Fate, that's what it's called. And you want to move that guy frequently so that the raid does not take damage from Nightmare Corruption. Anyway, let's move on to the next boss. The final boss for uh, the first wing of the Raid Finder can be found in the Mulgore section. Once again, we do not have a choice. We have to go to Mulgore. It's just an illusion of choice. Anyway, we go into Mulgore and we shall be dealing with other... Eldoreth Renferal, I believe, is how you pronounce her name. Regardless, she's a corrupted druid boss who starts off as a spider, but also transforms into a rock. In reality, she's a corrupted night elf druid. Now, what tanks need to be concerned with here is mostly uh, managing stacks of, um, yeah, managing stacks from adds. When she goes up here, the way she does right now, she will pop up and adds will spawn and there are stacks of vent dripping fangs that's the exact word for it so you need to manage stacks of dripping fangs so you don't want to make sure you want to make sure that there aren't too many of those also when the spiders die they leave piles of crap sound familiar yeah you want to make sure that uh, you make those spiders die in a place that is somewhat convenient it's not going to be perfect in this particular execution because this, once again, is fairly early on. But anyway, that is a goal that uh, you'll want to have, is to have the piles of crap, whenever possible, be dropped somewhere not on the raid. So that's what you need to deal with mostly for this phase, is when she goes into feeding time, she drops the spiders we need to pick up the spiders. If the other tank is taking too much damage, then you need to, or has too many stacks of 
dripping fangs, then you need to go in and you need to do a tank swap. And then phase two is when she switches over into rock form, which she has just done, and you need to deal with Razor Wing and Raking Talons. Raking Talons will be cast in rapid succession. This, once again, is the reason to make sure that you're, you have the other tank on focus so that you'll know when they have a debuff so you can tank the, you can switch and taunt the boss off of them. Anyway, right here, this is kind of a fun little part. You need to make sure you pick up a feather and you need to make sure that you fly off to another platform right here, which is what we're doing. You can get over there super fast with these feathers. And you can use the feather to target where you land. So you can just shoot down to where you want to land. And yeah, right now the boss is targeting me. So she's casting Raking Talons. So the other tank will want to taunt off, which they did flawlessly perfect. And now she's casting Razor Wings. All right. And now, does he have a stack of Raking Talons on there? I can't actually tell. It does not look like it. Anyway, we've got the boss, taunted the boss back to me now, and just do your normal DPS rotation pretty much. Try to avoid those nasty little tornadoes there that are uh, going on, the Twilight Shadows. And she's doing a Razor Wing. Is she targeting anybody right now? She's not targeting me, that's for sure. Yeah, now she's targeting me. Very good. So yeah, this is not a terribly complicated fight again. It's, uh, it seems to be fairly basic from uh, what I see. But I am definitely happy to see that they are progressing in difficulty here. That we're actually dealing with a proper tank switching mechanic. The uh, Razor Talons here. Because if you get two stacks of those, then she will hit you really damn hard. And now she's gone and she is reverted back into phase one. She's a spider once again. So now we just need to deal with dripping things. So things will progress. There is a, uh, a council fight of sorts. You remember the nightmare dragons from uh, classic? Well, we get to fight all four of them at once now. So that's fun. That's going to be in uh, wing number two. And uh, that one's kind of an interesting little uh, fight there where you have to do a switch off. You are dealing with two dragons at a time and then two more dragons are just raining shit down on the raid. So anyway guys, this boss is pretty much dead here. So once again, in this phase, you need to pick up the spiders. If possible, make sure the spiders die somewhere that is not close to the raid and try to manage those stacks Try to manage the uh, stacks of poison as much as possible so that you don't get too many of them. And as you can see there, the boss was actually just a corrupted night elf druid. So that's pretty much going to do it for this video, folks. Thank you very much for watching. I would strongly encourage any of you who are uh, on the fence about uh, tanking in the LFR. You know, those of you who have tanked five mans, you want to maybe get into the raid tanking a little bit, but you're a little uh, nervous about it. I would recommend do your research. If you're watching this video, that's part of doing your research. Maybe pop on Dicey Veins, take a look in there. They've got some very detailed stuff. The Raid Finder difficulty is not that difficult. You mainly need to deal with tank switching mechanics, which can be dealt with simply by putting the other tank on focus and being observant. And also knowing the basics of the fight that you can find on Icy Veins and also, of course, in your dungeon journal. My name's been Wybot. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to my channel. There will be more stuff like this coming up pretty soon. I will have Wing 2 and Wing 3 of the Emerald Nightmare, as well as the Nighthold and the uh, whatever we're getting in Stormheim there. That little filler thing. Well, let's face it, that's going to be a filler dungeon. It's three bosses. But hey, more content. More content is good. Thank you very much for watching. My name's been Wybot, and I will see you next time.